And I always prefer not to ingest the toxic fumes coming out of my soldering iron. That can be quite a dangerous activity sometimes if you don't take proper care to protect yourself. So to avoid these hazards I tried working outside. That's really impractical, but what if it, the weather is bad for example? What if it rains? I also tried working next to a quite big fan. These fumes just stay in the room and you just inhale them later. So after all of these ideas failed, I decided to check how professionals deal with this problem. And the most common approach is to use these extractors. They have replaceable carbon filters that are supposed to absorb all of the toxic gas from the soldering iron. However, if you want one that really works, you need to pay a little bit of money and also they get quite big, they take up a lot of space. After thinking for five seconds, I came to the conclusion that this is not a good solution for me. I don't want to replace carbon filters every now and then because it's like having a Netflix subscription. And overall, I think that to filter everything out, you would probably need a multi-layer system. And that is like, it, it's really bulky, it's expensive. So I bought myself a giant aluminum spiral tube. Then I took apart an old PC I had lying around and took out its fan. I found a 12 volt power adapter to power the fan at maximum speed. If you are wondering what these two wires are here, the yellow and the blue, it's a tachometer and a PWM input. I decided to just tape them here. I didn't want to cut them because they might come in handy someday. I wanted the design to be as foolproof and safe and easy as possible, so first I cut the power adapter in half with scissors, soldered to it the positive and negative terminals of the fan right here. Let's check if it works. Then I attached the fan to the aluminium pipe with some random clips I had laying around. Finally, I added this plastic funnel that came with the fan. Twisting these fucking wires is not the most interesting thing in the world. And I would prefer to have a 3D printer. I think it made it a little bit more efficient because the flow of the gas is more directed towards the fan. At least that's what I read on the internet. Also, it makes the fan a little bit more quiet. So now I have a giant aluminum contraption above me when I sleep. The pipe is shoved into the window frame, so when I need to solder, I just flip the switch on my desk and it activates the extractor and the soldering iron. So this way it's convenient and I never forget to extract toxic fumes from my room. That is a weird sentence. After a quick calculation, I found that the entire thing cost me just around 12 USD dollars of America. As for any environmental aspects of my design, I admit that just pumping the fumes outside is not the cleanest solution, but after a quick look around, you can see that hundreds of cars are doing the same thing except they have giant engines and do it for much longer amounts of time and admit far more toxic waste than my puny little soldering operation here. Furthermore, the carbon filters also need to be replaced and produced, and that also comes with a carbon footprint. Pun not intended. That is all I have to say. Like, comment and subscribe to not miss my future videos, and see you in the next one.